Hello everyone, this lesson is called Directional Light and in this lesson we will be implementing one of the simplest directional lights. Our first step is to create a base light that all our lights will stem from. So create a new abstract class called Base Light and give it these attributes for the colour, the ambient intensity and the diffuse intensity. Next add a constructor that sets the default values. Now that we have a Base Light class we can start building light classes from it. A directional light is the easiest light to implement as it only consists of a directional vector with no origin point. It is useful for creating light across the whole scene or for simulating sunlight. So for the implementation create a new class called directional light that is a subclass of base light. Give it one attribute, a vector free f of direction and a constructor that sets the direction to default. Now we need to create some strings to find shader locations. So add this code here to the shader program class. Our next step is to update the lighting shader program to add new uniforms and attributes to the shader. At the top of the class add these attributes for the directional lighting. Next in the constructor set the attributes to find the locations in the shader as seen here. Finally add a new function called set directional lighting that sets the attributes for the shader using this code as well as a function that sets the eye position. Now we need to add the code in the shader that will colour our pixel based on the light. First, create a struct called base light in the fragment shader with the same attributes as the class. A struct is a class that has all public variables. Next, we will create a struct called directional light with the following attributes. Next, add a uniform for the directional light so we can set the attributes using this code as well as the eye position and the specular values. Finally, we will calculate the light in the main function. Create, first create a function called calculate internal in the fragment shader that returns a vec4. Our first step is to calculate the ambient lighting created from the colour of the light and the ambient intensity. Next we calculate the diffuse colour by first normalising the normal, then by doing the dot product between the normal and the light direction. We then set the default colour of the diffuse light to zero and then calculate the light using this code. Finally we calculate the specular lighting. Create the vector for specular colour starting with all zeros again, and then create a new vector for the eye direction. Next create a vector for the light reflection, and then get the specular factor using these lines. Finally, if the specular factor is greater than zero, we calculate the specular colour. The last step is to return the total light. We then calculate the final colour by multiplying this value with the colour of the pixel, which can be seen here. To implement the light, we need to create an instance of the directional light. So in the renderer class, create a new directional light and set the attributes in the constructor as seen here. We then set the light to the program and then assign the camera position for the specular light. If we run the program now, you can see the square lit in the centre of the screen. We have now implemented the first light, the directional light, with ambient and diffuse lighting. In the next lesson, we will be creating a point light.